Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Karen. Today I like to talk about camping. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> now I'm in a campsite. This is Sandon Cove um, campsite. It's a really really beautiful and small but quiet campsite. So I like to talk about camping. Uh, this year we're really lucky because we got a caravan. So we've been in this Sandon Cove camp for about three and a three and three and a half weeks. Um, why? <laughs> because we love um, Sandon Cove Beach. This is a Cornwall. So just behind this campsite, behind me, that's the um, Atlantic Ocean. It's very beautiful. So we've been here for about three and a half in total the whole summer. Um, kids really love it. So I like to talk about camping. This year we're lucky because we got caravan. But last year we did not have a caravan. So we did camping. We got a tent. And the year before we got a tent. When did we start camping? Um, when my older one, when my older daughter was in year two, uh, in their school, every year two and year six, the children get a chance to do a camping trip. So they go away for two or three days. So two years ago, it was their turn to do, you know, camping. And uh, she was a bit nervous. So we thought it's a good idea to try it. So if she try it and she might like it and she could know what's it like. So we did camping. <clears throat> um, and um, and then she really enjoyed it and afterwards we think camping is really really good idea to just go out and explore the place um, in a cheapest way possible <laughs> all you need to do is just get a tent and sleeping bags and stuff like that but I don't think it's everything is very expensive. So you can do it in a budget. And I think um, if you do camping, it's open air. So you're outside, you're constantly outside, you're constantly doing things. And we got kids, scooters, bags, and different kind of balls, badminton, football, rugby. We're constantly outside and constantly playing um, and the other thing I like to point out is actually it's good because kids go out and they play with other children on this campsite so they don't really bother you <laughs> a lot <laughs> they just go play every single trip and um, my two girls they could make some lovely friends which I think is really really nice um, yeah, so it's very good. Kids can just go and play and they make fun, friends. They're constantly outside. And sometimes I remember one trip we did. Um, we still got kids iPad, but they didn't use it. I, I didn't even charge their iPads for one of the trips we did. They were constantly outside and playing with other children on their scooters and in the playgrounds. Yes, every single campsite in this country in UK you can definitely find a playground for children um, which I think is really really good um, and the other thing I think like children got a really long holiday summer holidays like five or six weeks what do you do with them personally I like to just you know we like to come to Cornwall because we love the beach here and there are lots and lots of things to do. If it's raining, we can find still lots and lots of things to do here. And, um, and the other thing is, it's summer. It might be raining and still a little bit cold, but compared to the rest of the year, it's still summer. Sometimes we get really, really good weather like this summer it's been really good the first week the first week and a half we got there we got here um 
It was really warm and sunny. We enjoy beach every single day, and then it rained like about two or three days, and then we did like some lovely walks on the beach, and then we went check out some touristy stuff in Cornwall. There's plenty things to do, and then the second bit when we we went back to London for a bit and back again, and then we did some you know weather was really nice as well, and weather's been really good. Um, yeah. So I know that's the downside when you just do holidays in UK because you can't guarantee the weather. But I think when you're on campsite, when you're on campsite, you just got to you know, you know, don't let the weather beat you. When weather is nice, you go out, you do things. When weather is not nice, you can always visit you know somewhere indoors like museums and galleries. Just something to do. For kids, absolutely love camping because they are always outside and they always find good friends every single trip that's why we love it <laughs> because they play with other kids they don't bother us the thing is it's obviously not a five-star hotel you live in a tent you can't be very comfortable you sleep either on a camping bed or uh, just on floor a sleeping bag uh, but you just got to look at the positive side, right? You just look, got to look at the positive side. You got to think, okay, it's not a five-star hotel, but you're not paying for a five-star hotel. Usually, these campsites, they charge you, you know, compared to a, a, a hotel, it's much, much cheaper. So I think it's, it's affordable uh, and it's much cheaper. Um, yeah just you know when you're like oh my back really hurts <laughs> after three nights you just got to think about the positive side it's not it's quite cheap compared to a hotel and you can stay like you know one week or two weeks if you could bear with that um i can i think main thing for me is uh, if if you do camping you can do two weeks you just find a place like us this is you know very close to a beach or you find another clothes like you know you can find lots of things to do and um, if you're very adventurous you can drive to France and do camping in France you know somewhere different I think the other thing is how you plan your summer holidays People like to go away in summer. I really don't know why, because everything is so expensive. Summer holidays, the flights, the hotel, everywhere you go just costs you so much. And because it's summer holidays, um, you want to take kids somewhere, you know, um, which I can understand. But I think if you do camping, kids can still enjoy beach somewhere in UK. Or like I said, if you drive to France, you know they can enjoy, still enjoy like beach and sand and water still have good time the only thing is probably just the parents uh, your back probably hurts <laughs> and that but you know if you want to save money right uh, for me i think the summer is probably the best time weather wise uh, in this country in uk so we like to just stay here in, in this country and avoid, you know, that peak summer holidays everywhere you go and it's packed, you know. Um, so I don't know why the couples, they've not got children, they like to go on a holiday during the summer. Everywhere you go, everywhere you go, your hotel's just full of screaming children. <laughs> why don't you go, you know, all the time, just avoid summer holidays? So you don't, and it's much cheaper. So for us, we like to do a family holiday, maybe somewhere warm, like other time, Easter or the other half term. And I'm from China, so I also need to make sure we do chi our, you know, China trips to see our family and friends. Yeah. So for me, I think um, camping is great. You can save money when you do holidays and encourage kids to play outside they're constantly um you know outside and playing playing with other children and um yeah and you just 
always get fresh air and automatically and uh, you save quite a lot of money um, and avoid summer holidays stay in UK or go somewhere you can drive to either France or Spain <laughs> and to do camping there and just save the money you can go away when it's freezing cold for many <laughs> for many months in this country right half term or Christmas or Easter or other times when it's super super cold you go somewhere save the money and go somewhere warm um, yeah so that's how I think um, I think camping is a great idea before I was like a perfect city girl I did not like camping and I'm like what I can't be bothered doing that but but after a few camping trips I think it's great great for kids um yeah and now I enjoyed it but from this year we're really lucky we've got caravan now uh, for those people who haven't tried camping you can just give it a try it's not that bad trust me okay I hope you enjoyed today's video I'll see you next time bye